Divorce actions in most states, including Kentucky, require courts to make equitable distributions of marital property. Before doing so, a court must classify assets as either marital property or separate property. In Woosnam v. Woosnam, we explore some of Kentucky's classification rules. When Kenneth and Patricia Woosnam married, Patricia owned a house on Surrey Drive valued at approximately $13,300 and subject to a mortgage debt of approximately $9,466. The couple lived there for six years before selling the house for $19,175. After paying off the mortgage, they invested the remaining proceeds in a new house on Carriage Drive. It had a purchase price of $23,000. When Patricia and Kenneth separated almost two years later, its estimated value was $37,500, reflecting significant appreciation. During the divorce proceeding, the trial court concluded that because Patricia owned the Surrey house before marriage, she had a separate property interest. When valuing that interest, the court found that at marriage, Patricia's net equity totaled approximately $3,834, the property's value minus the mortgage debt. That amount was 28.8% of the property's value. The court then applied that percentage to the Surrey House's sale price, awarding Patricia approximately $5,590 as separate property. Although Patricia reinvested those funds in the carriage house, the court didn't award her any portion of that property's appreciation as separate property. The court instead concluded, without specific findings, that the appreciation resulted from the couple's joint efforts in permanent improvements, making it marital property. The divorce decree reflected the court's conclusions and prompted Patricia to appeal to the Kentucky Court of Appeals, arguing that a portion of the carriage house's appreciation was her separate property.